Yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? It's your boy, Fuss the King. Thank you guys always for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Listen, I got five standouts from this weekend's mini camp, all right? Guys who are, are saying the right things. I'm hearing the guys that are doing the right things. Um, you listen to the coaches talk about certain players. You can kind of tell who they uh, had their eye on and the plan that they had. Um, the players are kind of talking about the plan that the coaches have for them. So this will be interesting. Again, this is my time of the year because it's cool to see – First of all, just how well Dallas drafts. But then, you know, you hear, and he's not even one of my standouts, but you hear a coach like Brian Schottenheimer, who I'm going to do a video on how he wants to use Schoonamaker, Schoonamaker, Schooney, whatever we're going to talk, call him, uh, how they want to use him. And you hear him talk about being physical, and then you watch Schoonmaker block and, and how he plays, but then also they looked at his athletic profile and how he's going to be used, I think it's really exciting. So I got five guys who, who kind of stood out to me. Now, before I get to that, I just want to say thank you all for uh, listening to Lemon Water, continuing to listen to Lemon Water. The link in the link tree is in the description box, Spotify, iTunes, all that type of stuff. Just keep sending it around, guys. Indie music support it. It means the world to me. It's just like supporting a small business. Just keep showing love. I'm direct to consumer. I don't have no boss. I don't have nobody telling me nothing. This is just me, my thoughts, and my vibe. All right, here we go. Um, so I got Mozzie Smith. I got Deuce Vaughn. I got Junior Fajelko, Isaiah Lyon, Lance, excuse me, Isaiah Lyon, and DeMarvin Overshawn. So now, when we talk about Mozzie Smith, something that he said to me and that the coaches are saying, and, and something that he said to me really stands out is, he he's embracing the fact that listen i didn't have a pass rush when i was at michigan they didn't ask me to do that they really asked me to two gap kind of catch kind of do those sorts of things he knows and he's coming in right now working on his pass rush get up the field push the pocket um bull rush but it, it, it's it's when you have a player who understands hey i may not have to get the sack but if i can walk this center or if I can walk this guard back into the quarterback's lap and I can get the quarterback's eyes to drop. So quarterback trying to step up in the pocket. Now he can't. Why? Because Mozzie's bench pressing a guy into his face. Now Micah Parsons is on the edge. Now we have our three techs attacking. And Mozzie understands that stuff. And so I'm sure he's working that stuff with the with um with 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 our defensive coordinator, with our defensive line room, Sharif Floyd, all those guys. That's what you want to hear, okay? You, you want to hear Dan Quinn teaching these guys this type of stuff. So that's a standout for me. Deuce Vaughn. Fossil, he, he tried to be politically correct, but he couldn't when he was talking about, you know, Deuce Vaughn possibly helping in the return game or on special teams. Now, there's no way he – and he said he could be on the punt, block team. Whatever. There's no way you're going to put Deuce Vaughn on that team. No, he's going to have the ball in his hands because that's what he does. So it's going to be him and Turpin. Um, and, and that's what you want. You want competition everywhere. Like, I don't want Turpin to feel like it's his job. You want competition literally at every position. So I think that's cool. And then just knowing how he's going to move around out there and how he moved around out there during workouts – Deuce Vaughn is a special athlete. I, you know, I've been doing kind of think pieces on Twitter on him. It's going to be hard to keep him off the field, y'all. I'm just telling you the quickness, the burst. As videos start to float around the internet, you guys will see it's just going to be hard to keep him off the field. Junior Fayoko, he had an interesting interview to me. Junior is speaking about he's already 280. Now, his combine weight was 269. We've had players in the past, Tristan Hill, um, I mean, the list goes on, who did they really care about their body? Did they really know how to eat? Did they really care about the ins and outs and the, and the, and the grind of football? Everything you read here, um, Junior talks about his family. I had a third, I had a two, three on this guy, draft grade wise. He talks about his family, he talks about why he plays football, his why, 19 tackles for loss. This is a player who has the motor, right? He is going to be an end that stops. He, he, he's going to be what Bradley and I was supposed to be. He's not lighting the pants, guys. And that's huge. But he can also knife through and make plays in the run game. Again, the whole theme is being more physical. 
stopping the run. He's going to be one of those guys. He's not light. He's just not flying upfield and getting washed down by offensive linemen. He'll be able to play double teams. He says he wants to put on 10 more pounds. I like him at three, but I also like Chauncey Golson, who I'm hearing it, he looks a certain way. And he even played good last year. So those are two players to watch. Listen, I like Neville Gallimore, but I don't know if he's the athlete, right? I don't know if he's the athlete of a Fayoko. I don't know if he's the athlete of a Chauncey. So it's going to be interesting. And those guys play to run well. Again, 19 tackles for loss for Junior. Now he's coming in. He's, he's at camp. He already knows who he's going to be within his body. I think that's going to be somebody to watch there. So we hit Deuce Vaughn. We hit Mozzie Smith. I want to talk about Isaiah Lamb. And I want to talk about Dan Quinn's comments on Isaiah Lamb. He was watching Lamb, right, when he was watching Marquise Bell. That's special to me. That tells me that. When, when, the, when the coordinator is mentioning you already, they're going to give you every opportunity to get on the field. They're going to give you every opportunity to win in packages. Make no mistake, I think Mike McCarthy and Will McClay say, hey, we want to stop the run. I think Dan, Dan Quinn does too, but make no mistake, Dan Quinn wants to get out, out, out uh, after the quarterback. Now, I thought it was kind of really premature, and I don't know if some of this was – uh, contract talk is that in the third when you hear, oh, Micah's a full-time DN because obviously DNs are going to break the bank. The Cowboys will do right by Micah Parsons when it's time to pay him. But I also think that you're pigeonholing yourself by putting one of your best athletes on one side of the field. You, and you, you'd never want to just say that. Like, Micah Parsons has the range to, to fly around. All right, and now DeMarvin Overshawn, is another player who I thought stood out because you also hear Dan Quinn speaking about him as well, who you kind of have in that range vibe. And when you look at him, and you know it was a piece on him floating around the internet, you look at him, he just has a different look. His length is different. So both of those players are going to have big roles, but that doesn't mean that Micah Parsons, you just stick him at DN and just let him cook. No, because he still needs to be in the middle of the defense, flying around, scanning, running to the football, doing those types of things. And now you have Mozzie in front of him. Let's keep it. Let's keep in mind the, the the big point of we want to have a defense that even though we are more physical, we still want to have as many athletes on the field as possible. So, these are just my thoughts, kind of like a recap vibe from rookie mini camp. Um, there'll be OTAs coming up here shortly where the the whole team will be together, um, and that's when we'll really start to see who's standing out. We'll really start to hear who's standing out, who's doing their thing. You guys, let me know. Um, what, what what are you guys hearing? What are you guys seeing? You guys let me know your thoughts about this video. Again, thank you guys always for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please, 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 please keep streaming the music. That means the world to me. It's your boy.